Welcome to the Cigar Asylum, and today we're coming from the jungles of Africa to review the Don Lino Africa Cigar. So, let's take a look at the wrapper here. Um, I think you'll notice how gorgeous this is. It's a Colorado Maduro, very milk chocolatey look. Very few veins. Uh, what there are, are are not real pronounced. Um, it's not real toothy. It's very smooth, and there's really not a lot of dents or creases throughout the wrapper. So they've done a really good job on that um, on the outside here. So uh, let's get the. It's got a foot label. Get that off and get it lit up and see what we're talking about here in terms of flavor. Uh, to start with, we definitely have pepper and wood, no doubt, but they're kind of light. They're not real heavy, but uh, pretty good to start off. Now, this cigar was just released uh, last September of 2019, and it's kind of a uh, revamp of an older cigar Miami Cigar Company did back in the mid-2000s, I think. And I did, I remember smoking these, um, several of these. Uh, but then at some point, I think they just kind of disappeared. And I don't even remember. It was just like, uh, you just couldn't find them anymore. Um, but they brought them back with a newer blend. And uh, let's talk about that blend. So this size, they're calling Punda Milia. I believe that's how you pronounce it, which at Swahili for uh, zebra or striped donkey and uh it's a, a box press toro at five and a half by 54 ring gauge i believe now the uh, wrapper is a habano 2000 uh the binder is cameroon and there are two fillers dominican and nicaraguan uh this ran me uh they were 11.99 a piece for this size <clears throat> and there are several different uh, sizes uh, in the brand. It is actually manufactured at A.J. Fernandez's uh, Cigar Factory uh, for the Miami Cigar Company. So the wood has kind of died down and white pepper has kind of taken over along with uh, so, uh, a little bit of chocolate taste and uh, definitely some coffee taste going on. Now the flavors are not uh, overpowering at all. They're, uh, it's kind of a very, a mild to medium cigar in terms of the flavoring. Uh, smoke output is pretty good and the aroma, honestly I'm not getting a lot from the aroma other than just kind of a, a smoky smell. Um, there's not a lot going on there with that. I do like this band too, it's pretty gorgeous. White pepper is getting stronger as we go deeper in here, and the chocolate is getting a little bit sweeter, too. Definitely sweet notes there on the chocolate. That's a uh, smoke output I love. So as we finish up here, um, I got to say, this is a very enjoyable cigar. Honestly, I can't remember what I thought about the ones back uh, that I smoked in the past. Uh, on the original blend, so it's, I can't re I can't really compare it, but uh, I, I tend to remember thinking that I liked it because I, I remember buying them on occasion. But uh, this is going to get a 4.5 out of 5. Great wrapper, great flavors of chocolate, wood, uh, pepper, white pepper, uh, not overpowering. I think this would be a good cigar for maybe a beginner or somebody that's been smoking a little while but not a long time so with that we're going to wrap up and guys remember to keep the insanity for the cigar asylum <laughs>